So hi dear Gemini, a very very good morning to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general reading for all the Gemini Sun Moon Mars rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed any time and something is bothering me a lot and this is the fear. If you can see that, oh god. Okay. So let's start. Your partner's current feelings for you right now are. Let's see. Gemini, your partner's current feelings for you right now are. Yeah. Oops. Temperance. Temperance in reverse. Somebody is losing patience, honey. Somebody is losing patience. Generally, I do see this person very, very uh, being very, very impatient. Okay, could be dealing with the Sagittarius here. Uh, I do see this person. Uh, this person is generally very, very impatient with you. Whenever they were in a relationship with you, I do see a separation or silence streak. Or silent treatment between you guys, or there's something that is not working out, and this person is getting very impatient to do something. I have to clarify what that something is. Okay, I am having very rough day today, but I'm trying to be my purest, calmest. I don't know. I'm trying to be a goddess. Mm. Let me clarify the temperance card. Temperance in reverse, actually. Let's see. Why they are getting so impatient, honey? What's making them so impatient? Are you looking so hot? Are you making them jealous? The tower, the magician, the knight of cups. Oops. Okay, they are manifesting you. There is a sudden realization. There is a sudden shock that uh, shock waves that this manifestation is uh, that this manifestation is not working. What the hell am I? Uh, I'm manifesting this person. I'm manifesting this Gemini from like ten years, and this manifestation is not working. I want to manifest this person. This person is manifesting a love offer from your side. Okay, so now the cross watchers, please don't abuse me or please don't cuss me. So <laughs> I have to tell them that you are manifesting them, and you're actually manifesting a love offer from Gemini. Okay, so Gemini, this person is getting very very impatient because their manifestation is getting delayed or it is not working at the pace that they want it to be. Okay, honey, so you could be dealing with a Cancer here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So somebody is very very impatient. It could be you. It could be them that the manifestation is not working or it's very very slow. Oh God, let's see what you feel for this person. Your feelings for them? Yeah, see. Justice. Okay, you are feeling like uh, you are feeling like the justice is served by the universe right now. Okay, or for some of you, you feel like bringing balance in the situation. Whether it means that you should leave the person forever, or whether it means that uh, you should be with this person again. Whatever, whatever the situation is, you feel like bringing peace and bringing equal energy on the table with this person, it, bringing balance to the situation. Let me clarify. Let me clarify the justice. Okay. The sun, the knight of wands and the six, nine of swords. Okay. 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 So what is happening with you Gemini is sometimes you are very attracted to this person. Sometimes you feel really happy without them as well. And sometimes you're losing sleep over this person, okay? So this is what you're feeling about this person. You're quite attracted to this person sexually that I can see. And sometimes you feel like you're happy on your own. You don't need anyone. You don't need any kind of person in your life and blah, blah, blah. But then again, when you go to sleep at night, you think all the negative things of the universe, all the negative shit of the universe. And you're like, I'm losing my sleep over this person. I need this person back in my life. And that is why you are feeling like bringing balance to the situation is very, very important. So you are feeling like bringing balance in your own life, in your own life regarding this particular person, regarding this particular situation that you are dealing with right now. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo. Oh God, every fucking energy is there. Blah, blah. Okay, let's see what this person wants from you, honey, Gemini. Let's see. Damn, she's a sexy bitch. <laughs> I'm getting this song from your side that uh, uh, the, the gender doesn't matter, but uh, you're seeing this person as damn, she's a sexy bitch. Damn, girl. Yeah. 
and you are you are not able to resist this person oh god ah. okay anyways so let's see what this person wants from you star happiness hope positivity hmm aquarius energy so this person wants a soul connection with you a soul they they feel like a soul contract with you soul connection with you and they he, they want to heal the situation with you whatever the situation is right now whatever fucked up or messed up the situation is right now this just this person just want to heal the situation with you this is what this person wants from this connection from this uh, uh what should i say relationship okay got it let me clarify the star six of wands two of swords and the high of pentacles yes see this person wants to be in a successful relationship with you to heal the situation with you but they are confused how to do that they are on the crossroads how to tell you that they feel like a, uh, that they want a higher level of commitment with you okay they want to make this connection work out but they are on the crossroads what to do about the situation they are not able to see the clear picture or they are not able to see the truth clearly or the worst part is that this person is not ready to accept the truth as it is in the situation so it is creating a conflict within themselves hmm okay so the card is telling me although this person wants to heal the situation with you but i do see this is somebody who is giving you pain in your ass because this person gave you some very very hard time in the past now they are manifesting you back in their life actually manifesting a love offer from your side okay and for some of you this was a casual casual relationship this was not a thing that you were planning to get married to or uh, having a long term relationship with now things are like becoming more and more difficult for both of you because this person is wanting something else you are wanting something else it's kind of creating conflict and confusion between you guys okay okay let's see what you want from this person yeah this is somebody who is kind of confused gemini libra aquarius aries leo sagittarius and taurus too taurus too what do you want from this person is ten of cups you want to be happy with this person i don't know why the hell am i getting this energy of non commitment all the ten of cups is a commitment energy living to the fullest is your part so gemini intuitively going against the card i am getting this vibe gemini that you want to live in the present with this person and you want to enjoy the moments with this person and you you take this person as a family but i don't see you being on this uh, wavelength of frequency where you feel like yeah i want to be in a relationship or i want to get married or have kids with this person i am being very honest with you i don't see that energy for some of you yes definitely you might feel that but mostly gemini right now is feeling like you just want to savor the moment with this person enjoy the moment with this person you treat them as a family i don't know how the hell are, like the messages are downloading today like what the hell is happening i don't know because of the meditation thing i'm doing continuously i don't know let me clarify the ten of cups god ace of swords eight of pentacles and eight of swords yes yeah, see the thing is you want to be very very clear and honest with this person you want to bring the truth bring the clarity bring the honesty in this connection with this person you want to have a back and forth communication with this person but something is holding you back something is holding you back gemini libra aquarius energy is very very prominent in every fucking reading that i am doing these days why do why do you people give so much hard time to everyone what is wrong with you <laughs> i'm sorry see you are in a mental jail what to do what to do what to do how to make this person understand that this is what i want i want happiness i want to live in the present moment without ruining our future oops if it does make any sense if it does make any sense to you please take this message it's very very serious gemini you want happiness you want to be with this person but on your terms and conditions not in their term on their terms and conditions okay honey you are in some kind of mental jail you are constantly thinking constantly thinking eight of swords nine of swords you are constantly thinking about this person you are constantly in your head about them but not doing anything 
about this situation. Okay, honey. Let's see what to expect from this person till the 10th of April. What's happening? Let's see. Let's see. Three of Pentacles. I do see this person finally coming towards you to put an effort to make things work out between you and this person. To make things a little more stable between you and them. Finally, some positivity. Ah, let me clarify the three of pentacles. Hey, I'm, I'm feeling somebody's presence here in my room with me today. And it's a very positive presence. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Wow, beautiful. Thank you, angels. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everyone who is present with me right now. Oh God, it's hell scary, but it's good. The fox of being a tarot reader. La la la. Yeah. Ten of pentacles, three of swords, four of cups. Okay. Okay. So now what I'm getting here is that this person wants to do this thing. You know, this uh, equal give and take of energy. This, this putting in the efforts and all this. But there is a third party there is something that they have to remove from their energy or there's someone who you should remove from your energy before you guys go to the state of ten of pentacles before you guys get to the state of being in love forever being in a long-term committed relationship or being in a partnership again because i do see confusion because i do see heartbreak because i see that there is something or someone that is stopping you. Third party is not always a romantic third party. It could be a situation. It could be a person. It could be somebody who is kind of interfering between you guys. So it's like uh, before coming back towards you. Before coming to make things right with you. I do see that this person have to set right, set things right with somebody else. Or you have to do that. If you want to make things work out with this person. So the outcome of the situation, see the, the roles can be reversed anytime. It could be you, it could be them. Please take it how it resonates with you. And if you don't fit in this connection in this reading, please don't try to fit in this, you know, uh, forcibly because it's not going to work. Okay. Okay. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. So you have to release some third party, release something or someone to get back together. Okay. So it could be you, it could be them, it could be both of you that uh, that have to release something or someone out of your energy to be together forever. Okay, so thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you.